A warm welcome to all my students. Today you will learn about Hydrali anthropocene plant, Dondia bark, Revelier of Amarasolia, Revelier of Haligali Beiras, Anglo Indian Wars, Revelier of Kittur, Rani Chennamma and Sangoli Rayana, Revelier of Surapura. In today's session, we will learn about Dondia bark. Rebellion of Amarasulia, Rebellion of Haligari Pedas, Rebellion of Kittur, Rani Chennamma and Sanguli Rayana, Rebellion of Surapara. These are the topics will be discussed in today's session. Dondia Vag. Many rebellions and protests against the British took place in Karnataka after the death of the Sultan. These were armed rebellions and took place during the first part of 19th century. Among them, the rebellion led by Dondia Vag is an important rebellion. After the death of Tipu, Many protests and rebel took place in Karnataka and these were armed rebellion and this all took place during 19th century and among them the most important is the rebel led by Dondia Vag. Dondia was born in a Maratha family of Chanakiri. He was called as a Vag, the tiger, due to his bravery. He started his career as a cavalry soldier in Hyderabad's army and grew to the position of military general. He built his own private army and fought along with the Sultan. Due to the differences with Tipu, he was imprisoned. The British released him from the prison after the 4th anglo mysore War. Dondia Vag was born in a Maratha family of Chennagiri. He was called as Vag because of his bravery. The meaning of Vag was tiger. He started his career as a cavalry soldier in Hyderabad's arm, army and grew to the position of military general. Later, he had his own private army and fought along with the Sultan and later the difference arise between Tipu and Dondia. Due to this, he was put in the prison. Later, he was released by the British after the 4th anglo mysore War. He built a small army and started his operations. He organized the army with the unhappy soldiers of Tipu's army and feudatory rulers who had lost power. He captured Bidanur and Shimuka fort and made unsuccessful attempt to capture Chitradurga fort. Lord Wellesley tried to check this rebellion. An attack was organized on Shimoga, Honali, Hariara and other places under the control of Dondia. Dondia lost his base. After the capture of Shikaripura, Dondia ran away towards Gutti, which was under the control of Nizam of Hyderabad. When Nizam's army attacked Gutti, Dondia had to run towards the region of Maratha. After Dondia was released by the British after the 4th anglo mysore War, he built a small army and started his operation. He organized those army who were unhappy with Tipu and the feudatory rulers who had lost their power. With the help of these soldiers, he was able to capture 
Bidanur, Shumuga Fort and made an unsuccessful attempt to capture Chitradurga Fort. Lord Bellesley tried to check this rebellion. An attack was organized on Shumuga, Honali, Haryana, other places under the control of Dondia. Dondia lost his base and after capture of Shikaripura, Dondia ran to Guti, which was under the control of Nizam of Hyderabad. When Nizam army attacked Guti, he ran from there towards the Maratha region. The Maratha army attacked him and captured most of his horses, camels and arms. In spite of these, he continued his war affair. Many unhappy Palegars encouraged Dondia Vag. The French at the Mahe of Malabar also extended their support to him. The British army followed him the vast area that included Haryara, Chitradurga, Shikaripura, Savannur, Rani Benur, Kittur, Londa. The British who took over Sri Hatti killed many followers of Dondia Vag. Once Dondia Vag entered into Maratha region, he was attacked by the Maratha army and captured his horses, camel and arms. In spite of these, he continued his war affair. As many uh, unhappy Palegas encouraged Dondiava and also the French showed their support towards Dondiava. The British army followed him the vast area that included Haryana, Chitradurga, Shikaripur, Savanur, Rani Benur, Kittur, Londa. The British who took over Sri Hatti killed many followers of Dondia Vag. End of Dondia Vag. Lord Wellesley decided to end the adventure of Dondia Vag. The British, the British requested the help of local rulers. Dondia had recaptured Shikaripura fort and scattered by the British army again. The British tried to defeat the army of Dondiava which used to move in area between Tundubhadra and Malaprabha. They attacked them from all the directions. Finally, Lord Wellesley decided to end the adventure of Dondiava. The British requested the help of the local rulers. Dondia had captured Shikaripura fort and he was scattered by the British army again. The British tried to defeat the army of Dondia Var, which moved between the area of Tungabhadra and Malaprabha. They attacked him from all the directions. He was followed by them when he left Rajur, when he was caught in between Maratha army and Nizam's army. The British attacked him near Elapa Ravi and killed him at Honagala. With the death of their leader, the follower of Dondia scattered. The British captured a large cache of arms and ammunition. Finally, Lord Wellesley was successful in putting an end to the rebel of Dondia Vag. As he followed, he was followed by the British when he left to Raichur. He was caught in between Maratha army and Nizam army. The British attacked him near Elapa Ravi and killed him at Onagala. With this, the death of great leader rebel came to an end and his followers were scattered. The British captured a large cache of arms and ammunition. 
Rebellion of Kittur, the brave Queen Chanamma. The British brought in many changes in the administration after defeating the Marathas, Tipu, and Hyderali. Denying the rights of adopted children over the throne was one set rules. The rebellion led by Chanamma the Queen of Kittur opposing this law is a prominent one. Kittur lies between Darwad and Belagam. After the death of her Malasarja, Chennamma, the Queen of Malasarja took active interest in the administrative matters. After the death of Malasarja, his son Shivalinga Rudra Sarja took over reign of the Kittur. Due to his failing health, Chennamma had to take care of day-to-day -day administration. Shivalinga Sarja supported the British during Maratha War. As a result, the British entered an agreement with Kittur and collected payment from him. This agreement was entered during the time of Thomas Munro. Rani Chennamma ruled Kittur. Kittur lies between Darwad and Belagam. After the death of Malasarja, Malasarja is the husband of Queen Rani Chennamma. After his death, the Queen of Malasarja took an active interest in administrative matters. After the death of Malasarja, his son took the reign of Kittur. He started ruling Kittur. Shivalinga Rudra Sarja started ruling Kittur. Due to his failing health, Chennamma had to take care of day-to-day -day administration. Shivalinga Sarja supported the British during the Maratha War. As a result, British entered an agreement with Kittur and collected a payment from him during the time of Thomas Mundro. After the death of Shivalinga Rudra Sarja, Chennamma adopted a boy named Shivalingappa and started ruling Kittur as a queen regent. Then Takre was a collector and political agent of the British in Darwad. He sent a report to governor of Bombay and attempted to take over Kittur kingdom under the doctrine of lapse policy. He had to, to take over the treasury and fort under his control. Chennamma considered war as inevitable. She prepared for the war. Meanwhile, British also prepared themselves for the war. In the battle, Thakre was shot at. After the death of Malasarja, his son, Continued the rule Shivalinga Rudrasarja. As he had a health issue, his health was deteriorating, the administration activity was taken care by Chennamma. Chennamma adopted a boy named Shivalingappa and started ruling Kittur as Queen Rajat. Rajat means if the king is a minor, on behalf of him who takes care of the kingdom as a regent. So Chennamma was a queen regent. Thakre, who informed to the British regarding doctrine of lapse. So he made an attempt to take over the treasury and the fort under his control. In the meanwhile, Chennamma considered the war is unavoidable. So she started preparing for the war. 
the other side british also started preparing for the battle in the battle thakre was shot dead many british were taken as a as a prisoners of war the british attacked kitur under the leadership of colonel decon the army fought the battle bravely chennamma attempt to flee from the battle field but she was captured by the british army chennamma and others were imprisoned at Baila Mongol Fort the queen chenama passed away in the prison due to the doctrine of lapse policy the british tried to take over kitur under their control rani chenama did not agree to this due to that it led to led to a battle between kitur rani chenama and english The British attacked again under the leadership of Colonel Decon. The army fought battle bravely. Chennamma attempted to flee from the battle, but she was captured by the British, and later she was put in the prison, and she passed away in the prison. Kitur Rani Chennamma was known for her bravery. who did not agree to give her kingdom to the british she fought bravely against the british and finally died in the prison sanguli rayana the name of sanguli rayana has remained famous along with the name of rani chennamma rayana was a brave soldier he fought for the independence of kittur and felt it was his duty to liberate his motherland he fought against the british and was imprisoned along with her he was later released by the british there are many oral histories about rayana he developed a sense of nationalism and went on organizing and army he organized secret meetings at sensitive places he aimed at looting the treasury and taluk office of the british he had an army of 500 men he became furious with the villagers who were assisting the british army the british thought that Rayana was being instigated by Rani Chennamma. British devised a cunning strategy to capture Rayana. They encouraged Desai, who were opposing Rani Chennamma, and Amaldar named Krishna Raya, joined hands with them. Thus. Rayana was cunningly captured and brought down to Darwad. Many of his soldiers surrendered after his arrest. He was declared as an offender and was hanged to death. Sanguli Rayana. The name of Sanguli Rayana has remained famous along with the name of Rani Chennamma. rebellion of amarasolia this rebellion was basically a farmers rebellion this rebellion need to be understood in the backdrop of political situations prevalent in coastal karnataka and kodugu regions during 1835 to 37 the british dethroned the rulers of kodugu Chikka Vire Rajendra of Haleri dynasty in 1834 he was later transferred to Velur through Bangalore and later to Kashi this incident created political instability in Kodugu Swami Aparampara
Kalyana Swami and Putta Basapa organized a rebellion against us. All the three declared that they are part of the Haleri dynasty that ruled Kodugu. Swami Aparampara assumed the leadership of the rebellion. He was captured in 1834 and shifted to Bangalore. Similarly, Kalyana Swami was captured in 1837 and placed in Mysore prison. Putta Basapa The people of Lower Kodugu continued the rebellion after the capture of Kalyana Swami. Suraya, Bellare and Puttur, the major places of Kandra region were part of Amarasulia. It is interesting to note that a farmer named Putta Pasapa as Kalyana Swami. This Putta Pasapa later presented himself as Swami Aparampara. This also notes the fluid nature of the rebellion. Putta Pasapa took over the leadership of the rebellion. The rebellion started in the Hindi region. Putta Basapa organized the rebel and calmed down the people. He declared that the tax on tobacco and salt will be withdrawn if the rebel government assumes power. The rich farmer, landowners and local chieftains were assured of this move. The capture of the government office in Bellare was the first move in the rebellion. Puttabasapa killed an Amaldar who was known for his brutality. Further, increased the popularity of Puttabasapa. This incident gained more support for the rebellion. The rebellion became more famous. The rebels marched towards Mangalore to capture it. The British were engaged in fortifying their fort in Mangalore. The rebels marched towards Mangalore through Panamangalore and Bandwal. They looted the treasury and the prison of Bandwal. The British sought the army of Talacheri, Kannur and Bombay. On hearing this development, Putta Basapa and his associated fled towards Sulaya. The British captured them with the help of people in Kurugo, Putta Basapa, Lakshmanappa, Bangarasa, Kedambadi, Ramaya Gauda and Kudemane Appaya were hanged till death. Though the rebellion failed it as an important place in the history of rebellions against the British. The rebellion of Surapura and Koppal. Surapura is at 50 km from the present day Yadgir. This was an important place since the rule of Aurangzeb of Mughals. During the reign of Nizam of Hyderabad and the Maratha, it became a vassal state. Later, most of the territory was lost and Surapura remained restricted to a smaller territory. During the reign of Venkatappa, it raised a rebel against the British. Venkatappa Nayaka Venkatappa Nayaka came to throne after the death of his father Krishna Nayaka. He was born in 1834 and came to the throne in an early age. 
His ascendance to the throne was opposed by Krishna Nayaka's brother Pedda Nayaka. This resulted in internal struggles. The British interfered in the affairs of Surapura. In 1842, they appointed Meadows Tyler as their resident and gained a proxy power over Surapura. Tyler was a reformist. He developed Surapura, princely state. Pedanayaka was appointed as the Divan of the state. Tyler conducted the land survey of the kingdom. The revenue of the state increased due to the measure implemented by Tyler. He took measures to educate Venkatapa Nayaka properly. He came to power in 1853. Rebellion of Surapura The British government was observing the various development of Surapura. In 1857, it came to the notice of the government that representatives of Nana Sahib were present in Surapura. This made the British suspicious of the king's intention. The British appointed an officer named Campbell to report on the various activities of the king. The officer submitted a report to the residents of Hyderabad that the king is involved in mal administration. Venkatappa Nayaka Venkatappa Nayaka usually presented as the leader of 1857 revolt in Karnataka by the historian. Venkatappa Nayaka is usually presented as the leader of 1857 revolt in Karnataka by historian. The British army captured Surapura in 1858. The war continued. There is a confusion regarding Venkatappa Nayaka's end. Next, we will start with Virappa of Koppal. Koppal Rebellion is an important rebellion in the various armed rebellions against the British. The Koppal and the surrounding regions were under the rule of Nizam of Hyderabad. There were exploitations. This enraged few zamindars who rebelled against the Nizam. Virappa is an important person among the rebels. Virappa, who was a zamindar, rebelled against the British and occupied the fort of Koppal and other forts in the vicinity. Many farmers and zamindars supported after realizing his motives. The British contact the Nizam and employ their army to defeat Virappa. Virappa, who had lesser soldiers, died fighting the army of the British. The British captured back the fort of Koppal, though this rebellion was a short-lived one. Virappa proved himself to be a good warrior. Rebellion of Beras of Haladali. Haladali is a small village of Mudhol, Taluk of Belgam district. This was a part of Mudhol principality. In 1857, the British banned the usage of weapons. The Beras, who always kept guns as a part of customs and 
they were good hunters the rebel against the british when they were asked to surrender their fire arms the bedas of mantu budni alagundi and the neighboring villages joined haladeli bedas the british army entered haladeli village to suppress the rebellion they suppressed the bedas in an inhuman way all the rebels were hung to death today's assignment describe the rebellion of dondia wag second question write a short note on sanguli raina third one why did kitur chennamma rebel against the british last who was venkatappa nayaka how did the political agent of the british help him in these question you will write all the point discussed about them each and every point whatever i have said about dondia wag has to be written same way sanguli rayana kettur rani chennamma venkatappa nayaka each and every point has to be written about them is that clear children thank you we'll meet in the next session with a new lesson thank you